You're about to see some of the old cine that I had taken transferred to video. Now some of this dates back to 1964, which is 33 years of age. There are a number of things that I might perhaps tell you about cine versus video. Uh, first of all, cine, unlike video, uh, had to be left in to be developed, so it was like a series of photographs that inhibited you from taking a lot of different scenes because you were very conscious of how much it was going to cost you. Whereas with video, if you don't like it, you just record over it. The other thing about uh, cine is that the cameras of 30 years ago hadn't got the same lenses, hadn't got the same clarity, and tended to fade very much around the edges. But that having been said, it does bring back some happy memories, and I hope you'll enjoy these with me. So having said that, let's have a look at the cine. Now this is the first cine, it's obviously of our wedding. There's Granny Hunt and Ken Townsend. Leslie. Door getting out of the car. Rob McCauley. Georgie Walsh. Barbara, Gloria Walsh, Joy Russell, Granny Hunt and Georgie Walsh. Mom and Dad, Leslie. Gloria. Granny with the confetti, Madge in the front. Granny again, pouring confetti over Gloria. Joy Russell, Billy in the background. Georgie and Ken Townsend, Sophie, Granny, Vi, Sophie again, Sophie and Gwen, Pearl, Billy, Hetty, Sophie again. Well, that was the main terminal in Dublin Airport. Think of what it is today.
Well, we've moved forward here to about 1966. British Bay. Where Dor went down to stay in Rosemary and Donald Burgess's caravan. And here she is on the beach playing with her basset hound. This is Arklow Harbour with Tyrrell's Boatyard. with Rosemary and Lisa as a baby in the pram. This is the earliest video that I have, Cine that I have of Craig. It would have been taken in about 1968 in Harbour Lodge in Dunleary. Andrea when we moved to Greystones on our next door neighbour's swing. Imagine door. And this was taken in mum and dad's garden in Cloyne. The cine itself was not particularly good quality. It was very light so it didn't transfer too well. But on the patio uh, you can see Andrea and Mum and Julian Dormer and Dad. There's Dad coming up from under the shade, Craig. Andrea with a very short skirt and Julian coming up behind her. Flowing door. Glen. This is Andrea in Pres Bray, where we took them into teach them how to swim or to have them taught rather how to swim and you'll see Craig coming up in a minute. It was Craig in a fancy dress on his way down to the uh, CSSM on the South Beach and this was the kids meeting for the CSSM. Now to Tara Cove, Craig and Andrea, Dorvi and Madge, Barbara. Stephen pulling Craig out of the sand. Andrea trying to dig him out. Dor and Craig. Watch Craig's face. Kinda cold. 
Stephen and Barbara. There was a brief glimpse of Tarakov, and this is Glenn again. Centre Green was built, Craig, Stephen Jones down in Greystones Fishing, Leslie with Trevor, and Craig and Andrea. Stephen again. Trevor. Trevor and Craig. Leslie and Stephen. Leslie, Dor, Margaret, and Madge. This was a trout farm that we went to, where they provided you with rods and hooks. The fish practically jumped up onto the hooks. The only snag was that any fish that you caught you had to buy. Stephen and Margaret fishing. First catch, Margaret getting the fish out, or the hook out of the fish. The four heroes down at Greystones Beach. This is Burnaby Park before the far side of the park was built. And indeed some of the houses on my side of the park hadn't yet been built. That house in the building there is Sean O'Neill's house. And this was one of the golf club fairways. That's the television aerial that I had until a big storm came and blew it down and you can see the triumph and the fiat in the drive enjoying the sunshine that was one night we went out to dinner top of the little sugar loaf.
Leslie, Andre and Craig. That was the path leading up to the summit. And that was a rest on the way down. Looking towards the big sugar loaf. Brian's first MGB. And here we see Brian when he used to have hair. We're back now in Tara Cove, Dora going for a swim, accompanied by Vi. Craig and Andrea, Vi. This is Ferry Bank. Enjoying the sunshine. Barbara and Dor. Craig. Andrea. Having found some little pups. We've moved now to Blackwater. Barbara, Dor, Andrea. And this was Stephen's aunt's house, which we went down to quite a bit. Going for a walk up the hill at the back of the cottage, Barbara and Dora. It was a two engine crashes, or two engines had crashed down in Wexford. This was Craig fishing. I think possibly it was the first fish he'd ever caught. Andrea having a bash at squeezing the poor fish to death. Back in Burnaby Park again. Morgan Stewart. Garnet. This is Mum. Out of focus in the original. Morgan and Garnet, the girl from next door, Craig and Andrea. And this is Barbara's house, Barbara and Stephen's house in Kilcool. Barbara's mum. Johnny and Vi, Barbara, and this was the Bray Hunt, the rugby club in the background.
Now, if you look closely, you'll see Ronnie Drew, who used to hunt with the Bray Hunt in those days. There's our Ronnie. You see how open the back of the houses were. There were no fences or hedges or anything built at that time. This was the opening of St. Patrick's School, Dr. Buchanan, the Archbishop of Dublin, and Edgar. Again, we're back to Burnaby Park. I think it's me towing Craig around on a, a truck that Stephen built for him. Again, you'll notice no houses on the far side of the road and the green hadn't properly been laid out. This is a stormy day down at the cove looking towards Brayhead and the harbour in the foreground. Waves breaking over the back of the pier. One of the old steam engines run by the Preservation Society. This is with the McRedmond family. Dor Craig, and I think Andrea in the front. Evelyn and Mark, I think. That's me and me green castrel sweater. Craig and I, I think heading straight for the ditch. Seamus. Andrea and Ruth McRedmond. Andrea again. These are all taken up just past the Glen of the Downs. Seamus again. Andrea. Dor. Big Sugarloaf. Seamus. Craig and Andrea. Avalon. Dor Sarah. We're definitely heading for the ditch that time.
This is on the road that goes up at the base of the Little Sugarloaf. Mark, Seamus, Sarah, Craig, Evelyn, dig the width of the trousers. Dor, Mark, Evelyn, Andrea, Craig, and Evelyn and Dor. Andrea and Dor. This was a holiday that Dor and I took to Yugoslavia. This was a boat ride that we took down to the next town. Christus, I think, was the name of it. This is a nudist colony we went by. And the minute the captain announced that the boat nearly capsized, everybody ran over to one side. And this is the town that we went down to see. Well, I nearly got the name right, Grisia. Kids playing in the street. coffee, nice sunset, and that was the boat having left us back at the hotel. This is where we used to swim, there was no beach as such. Grandad throwing the stick to grandmother to get out of the water. That was the taxi that went into Pula. That was a totem pole, door coming back from the beach. girl learning how to water ski. This was down at the seafront, the harbour rather, in Pula. It was me swimming, the days when I had a bit of fitness. You had to be careful getting out of the water because there was quite a lot of sea urchins which tended to leave their little black spines in your feet.
that was the hotel we stayed in. Again, this is another trip that we took into Pula. This was at the swimming pool in the hotel. The year we're talking about is 1974. And these were people that we had meals with. There was no such thing as self-catering in those days. You, all of the packages were on the basis of half board breakfast and dinner. This is going down to the where we swam killing the bugs we'd hired bikes to go around the place to have a look the other two couples had hired tandems but you'll see why Dora and I didn't hire a tandem so much for lady drivers being better slightly wobbly but better than that, or this. And this was the nightclub, obviously seen during the daytime. A shop window. And this was a local wedding, the bride. Back in Ireland again, up the Wicklow Mountains, Doran, Andrea and Craig. Sugarloaf. of the Downs and if you look closely you'll see it's before the dual carriageway in the Glen of the Downs was built
back again to Glenn. Julian Dormer, Craig, Andrea, and Glenn in Burnaby Park. It's Glenn again. On the kitchen floor. This is Julian Dormer and Craig out playing on the building site across the road. And they were playing with Julian's father's trailer. Building themselves a den, I suppose. This is Sean O'Neill's house in the making. This is the patio being built. Craig feeding Glenn and Andrea. Glenn on his walker. Oh, hit his finger. Not a very nice crust. That's the patio again. Craig. Craig and Julian. Door on the phone in the kitchen with Glenn on her knee. This is one Sunday we went for a walk up in the Glen of the Downs woods with Barbara and Stephen. Andrea, Craig. Glen. Barbara and Dora and the two kids, Glenn again. Craig with Stephen's deer stalker. People that lived over in the park where the woodses live now 
he was retired from R and H halls, and they bred these dogs, cockers, I think they were. And of course, Andrew was fascinated and wanted to go over and have a look at them. There's Julian. That's the man and his wife. His name escapes me. The mother of the pups. Glenn. Here we're off to the harbour. Craig, Glenn, Madge, Julian, Dor, white trousers, and Andrea. Glenn in the pram. Mad. 